Cover 4 begins now. Heather, I hope you're having a great Friday night. Welcome to week nine of Cover 4 on a CBS 4. We'll begin with the Battle of Titans at Bogus Stadium. Harlingen taken on San Benito in the Battle of Arroyo. Both teams unbeaten 7 0. Something had to give. Valley Sports Central's Blake Holland live at Bogus Stadium. Blake, how's it going out there? Ruben, just like you said, the Battle of Arroyo tonight here at Bogus Harlingen. San Benito, both teams undefeated, like you said, 7 and 0. A huge matchup, a clash of the Titans, as so to speak. Harlingen winners of three in a row. Could they make it four? Let's go straight into the highlights. A big matchup in 32 6A, a packed house sold out tonight. San Benito with an unstoppable defense entering the matchup tonight. But QB Randy Morales isn't phased by that in the first, for, first quarter. He follows his blockers downfield. He finds the end zone. A huge run by Morales in the first to give Harlingen the lead. So let's pick it up in the second quarter now. Fabian Garcia, a difference maker all season for San Benito. He finds a hole. It looks like he's going to go all the way. But the Harlingen defense coming up big. Greyhounds are forced to punt on the possession and Harlingen pinned deep to start their drive, but that does not phase Isaiah Bell. Bell finds a hole up the middle, a foot race to the end zone. Bell wins it to give the Cards a 14-0 lead in the fourth, in the second quarter, excuse me, and right before the half, Harlingen with another chance to score. Bell takes it up the sideline. He's finally brought down inside the 10-yard line, setting up the special team's perfect Kicking unit comes on for the cards. Joshua Lopez's kick is up and good. Harlingen takes the 17-0 lead into the half. But San Benito, a resilient team in the second half. They come out and score 21 unanswered in the third quarter. But Harlingen puts them away in the fourth quarter to go on to win it 37 to 21. Isaiah Bell, three touchdowns as you can hear tonight. The crowd loving it here at Bogus as the Cardinals are your winner. Reporting live at Bogus, Blake Holland, Valley Sports Central. Ruben, back to you. Thank you, Blake. So Harlingen now 8-0 on the year. Let's go elsewhere in the Valley. Matt Gallon Memorial hosting PSJ North. The Raiders atop District 15-5A Division 1. The Mustangs are near the bottom with a just a one win in a district play. To the city of Palms, if we go north with the ball, the Raiders going to go to the ground game north, handing it off to Jason Montes. The Raiders get on the board first. Coach Coffin's team now going over the air. Ala Paricio launching deep to Marcus Rendon. He hauls it in for the score. North off to a great start. Raiders knocking on the door again, but the ball gets away. Fumble on the field that's recovered by Memorial's Daniel De La Cruz, but the Raiders bounce right back. Aparicio hooking up with Jaden Fuentes. A touchdown north. Raiders rocking and rolling tonight. They win 48-3. to three. Short drive down Old 83 now. Sherryland hosting Mission Vets in district play. Rattlers off to a 2-0 start in 16-5A Division II. Coach Gilpin's Patriots coming off win against PSJA Southwest. To Richard Thompson Stadium we go, and the Rattlers are ready to come out. Here's the Patriots with the ball. The pass over the middle. Receiver gets by a defender, and he finds the end zone to put Mission Vets on the board, but here come the Rattlers. A nice ball over the top, and no one's going to catch the receiver. They are going to the house. Nice response from Sherryland. Now it's later in the second quarter. They're coming back our way towards us, and look at that. Nice ball right there in between two defenders, making the great catch of Sherryland. Putting up a lot of points tonight. They go on to... Claim a victory late here in the fourth. They are up and they are looking like they're going to win up a 47 to 7 over Mission Vets. Over in La Feria, the Lions hosting Zapata. La Feria is a district full of talented teams from the Coastal Bend. The Lions looking to pick up their first district win. As the good people of La Feria would say, roll pride. Here come the fellas storming onto the field. First, a line drive, Andrew Rivera looking over the middle. He connects with Larry Martinez. The senior does the rest, darting his way into the end zone. 
And all you viewers at home, Larry says, what it do, baby? Lions up six, nothing later on. Lions on their side of the field. They hand it off to Justin Rodriguez in the Laferia. Playmaker slips a tackle. He's off to the races. The Hawks finally bring him down around the 15. Next play, they give it to Zion Dickerson. He breaks a couple of tackles and goes to the near side. Touchdown, La Feria. Lions down, though, 14 to 12. Zapata clawing right back. Hawk QB Landon Martinez hooking up with Andres Gutierrez. Zapata up at that point, 21 to 12. At last check, the Hawks up 31 to 25 in the second half. Let's head down 506. Santa Rosa playing at home. The Warriors hosting Monte Alto. Coach Joe Marichalar's Warriors entering tonight's game with a 2-1 record in District 16-3A Division 2. The Blue Devils winless on the year. Monte Alto looking to pull off the upset on the road to Santa Rosa. We go first a quarter. Monte Alto driving Julio Marroquin. Hands it off to Drago Hernandez. Rocky beware. Here comes a Drago. He finds the end zone, punching his way in there. Blue Devils take a 6 a nothing lead. Warriors with the pigskin now. Santa Rosa QB Brian Rojas launching deep. Hits a wide open Julius Olmedo who scrolls into the end zone. PAT good. Warriors up a 7 to 6. Olmedo not done. Now he's going to show his skills on special teams, catching the punt on the run. He heads up the near sideline. He's a zigging and a zagging his way past the Blue Devils. No one going to bring him down 60 yards to the house. Warriors take a 14 to 6 lead. The visitors looking for a response. They hand it off to Eddie Rodriguez. The two point conversion would be good as well. We've got a tie ball game 14 14. Santa Rosa trying to retake the lead. Brian Rojas connecting with Adrian Zamora. Touchdown, Warriors. At last, a check. Warriors up 21 to 20 in the second half. And coming up with some more highlights from Friday night cover four here on CBS4.
And welcome back to Cover 4 on CBS 4. Every Friday night, we're looking for crazy fans in the stands. Let's see who made their presence known tonight in our Friday Fanatic. That's Harlinge in the Cardinal fan section with a blackout for tonight's game against San Benito. The faithful from Harlingen getting creative with their signs. Nice stuff right there from the Cardinal fans. Now, let's shine some light on the coaches. What's it like to run the show on game day? Harland and South head coach Izzy Gonzalez giving us an inside look at his team's a football team on this week's edition of Miked Up. Coach Izzy, take it away. Hey, listen up, man. Eyes and ears. Another opportunity to go out there and do what you do best. You understand that? First and foremost, you got to understand what's at stake. Tonight, you earned the right to go to the playoffs with a win. <laughs> 10 personnel, let's go, David. I met somebody. Go on one, go on one, go on one, go on one, go on one. Because if there's two ones, we check zone, right? If there's two ones, you can still run it. We got a flag. What do you got? They're offside. On the stop number 31. They're offside. Here we go. Oh. Hey, boy, Mikey. Hey, boy, three. Hey, got it. Got it. boy, cowboy. Got a boy, cowboy. The other guy made contact with him. He's going for the football. And a boy, Cowboy coach and his team victorious last night, 71 to nothing. Now it's our viewer game of the week. La Via visiting Santa Maria. The Cardinals undefeated so far in district play. The Cougars won and won. Let's head out to Santa Maria's brand spanking new stadium. First quarter, Santa Maria handing it off to Isaiah Gracia for the touchdown. But here come the Cardinals from La Via. La Via QB, Brandon Felix, keeps it himself, and he finds the end zone touchdown right there. Look at him kind of just spin away from a few guys and find the end zone. And what does he say? You guys are too little. But the Cougars respond saying, uh, you're a little too long on this pass. They pick off the pass. Juan Morales heading the other way, and I think you know where he's going. He's going all the way to the house for the touchdown. Great game tonight. Game tied at 28 at last check in the fourth quarter. We've seen the players and coaches do their thing. Cheerleaders also a big part of making game days a special. And who better to bring some excitement than cheerleaders every week. We select the squad and give them the opportunity to show their school spirit at a local business. This week, PSJ High Cheer Squad got to spread some school spirit at Charlie Clark in a Mac Gallon. At the end of the year, you, the viewers, will be able to cast your vote for who came up with the best decorations and declare our winner for the Cheerleader Challenge.